Hello student, I am Tarmoy. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss a olefination reaction that is Tele olefination reaction. This is basically nothing but conversion of carbonyl into methane. So sorry, not methane, double bonded. This oxygen is replaced by methane group, double bond formation from C double bond to C, C, C double bond C. So today's uh, topic in this topic we will discussed about the basic concept of this problem, uh, preparation of the reagents, reactivity, selectivity mechanism uh, of the olefination process and advantage as well as disadvantage. And in next video, I shall uh, discuss about the application and example of this reaction. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see, this reaction, this Tebe olefination reaction is nothing but conversion of this carbonyl group into methane. So, similar type of observation you have uh, already got, that is the Wittig reaction. I have already made many videos about it. Please go through that if you haven't seen it. So, actually this reaction is the conversion of this carbon into methane. And what happens? This titanium center, this, this is the CP means cyclopentyl dienyl anion. Keep it in mind, it's not cyclopentyl dienyl, this is anion. CP2 Ti double bond. So, this fate of this oxygen is this formation. Okay. And why this is happens? Because this titanium oxygen bond is stable. So, let's start this. So, basically, basically this reaction is transfer of these methyl. Okay, so what happens uh, for this reaction? We need this reagent, this reagent, and this. So let's discuss about how to prepare this reagent. This reagent is prepared. This Cp two DiCl two plus trimethyl aluminium Al two Me six. Actually, this is a dimer. Okay, actually this Al, um, actually this trimethyl aluminium remains as a dimer. Okay, because this, because uh, in this way aluminium fills or completes its octet. It's a dimer, means Al Me3. So this reacts with uh, this Tp uh, Cl2 and ultimately results in this reagent that is Cp2 Ti uh, CH2 Cl. This, these are breached with aluminium trimethyl. This plus another thing plus methane. I shall explain why this uh, methane and chloro aluminium dimethyl means dimethyl. Chloro aluminium. Okay, and this is also a dimer because this chloro beach dimer. Fine. So what happens? Actually, you can see this one of the methyl adducts Cl leaves, and second one, this reduction of this titanium happens, and it releases one proton. And with one methyl, we mean CH3 minus H plus, ultimately results in this methane molecule, and this. Now, what is the problem? This is our actual reagent, so could be used, but it needs purification. Purification means this needed crystallization. Crystallization and this crystallization results the removal of this because when you are putting any carbonyl compound, for example, this, there is an another chance that this aluminium it can act as a Lewis acid and it can coordinate with this, and this methyl transfer reduction may happen. So there is a chance that this such reaction happens, so it is better to remove this. And secondly, this reaction is selective, no problem. But if you remove this, this reagent will give a cleaner product, means better yield of this conversion. Fine. Another way of preparation that is using a petasis reagent. With what does it mean? This Cp2 Ti. Uh, sorry, not Cl. This is dimethyl. This is dimethyl reagent and this dimethyl reagent reacts with 
this aluminium means it is a way in this way you can remember so cl al me me and ultimately results in the same compound okay so this is actually petasis reagent so based on this reagent there is an another method of olefination that is petasis olefination i shall discuss in some next videos uh, in future videos so fine so in this way this reagent is prepared fine so we have prepared this reagent now since it's an organometallic reagent the question come what is its property or more importantly this what is its stability actually this react reagent is it is not not air stable this is not air stable okay so should be handled reaction should be handled under argon or nitrogen atmosphere so inert inert condition is essential for this reaction now the next time this this reagent activity we have uh, realized now find this and how this reaction happens so the mechanism of the reaction so actually for if you put this uh, tebase reagent and carbonyl reaction will not happen this reagent is stable enough in presence of carbonyl that it will not react but in order to achieve this reaction one another thing is essential that is lewis acid like pyridine so what this pyridine does this cp2 ti this ch2 cl this aluminum cl methyl methyl what it result this uh, pyridine act as a lewis base so this is as a lewis base so what happens so if we draw this is the pyridine so it attaches to this center fine right now this aluminum is octet field but when it attacks so what happens simply this breaks and if it comes here then this chloride also breaks so it's a not uh, well established that how this process happen but based on my logical understanding i am saying that it will happen so in this way what it will result it will result cp2 ti double bond ch2 plus this dimethyl aluminum cl coordinated with this pyridine because in this case also aluminum is extracted so in this way this aluminum will fill up so fine so we got how to prepare this petasis uh, this uh, actual active reagent actually this is the active reagent please keep it in mind this is the active reagent active reagent for olefination fine so means it will react now let's discuss how it will react so from the structure onwards you can see it is a metal carbon double bond and we know titanium so it is a transition metal it this bond is relatively stable relatively stable while i am comparing relative relative to vedic reagent okay this relatively stable but actually it could have a canonical form what do i mean it means that this bond could go to carbon actually metal prefers positive charge over carbon that's why this cp2 ti plus ch2 minus so this structure you can also write and this structure indicates the property of this molecule that is nucleophilic so you can say this is nucleophilic okay and this thing you can consider as a shock carbon like fischer carbon shock carbon those two schros i am not sure about the spelling if you confuse please check from google so this is a shock carbon fine so this is actually nucleophilic reagent and this center carbonyl carbonyl has a canonical form that is it will go up and it will result plus this is minus r1 r2 
So this is electrophilic center. Electrophile. So what happens? That this reagent, this one react with this center and it opens up. So consequence Cp2 Ti plus CH2 so C O minus R1 R2. Fine. Now, as you can see in case of Grignard reagent, same thing will happen. This oxygen will attack the titanium center because this is electron rich and titanium is electron deficient. So, what it will result? It will result this Cp2 Ti, this is CH2, this is O, this R1. Now, there are two chances that it can go back or it can do something else. And actually, this is a four member meter cycle. This is four member metal cycle. Okay? So, why this is stable? Because bigger size of titanium. Generally, four member rings are not stable. So, this is because of this titanium, this is stable. Now, what going to happen? What may happen? So, this bond will come here and it will like Wittig reaction. Please remember, in this case, there was phosphorus. So, Cp2, Ti, this is a double bond. Now, another thing, this is another here, CH2, R1, R2. So, in this case, one unique difference you should remember that this reaction is only limited for this methylene part. Okay? In case of Vt, you can take any type of carbon. So, you may, I told you that this oxygen and that phosphorus you combine and the alkyl group react here. But here, this methylene part. Rest this thing, this. And second, why this titanium oxygen bond is stable? Because, first of all, this is stronger. Second, this lone pair of oxygen could be further donated to the vacant uh, orbital of titanium but right now this is not possible because it is sp2 hybridized but previously in this condition you can think that further donation this multiple bond formation which results in the stable titanium oxygen bond so this so this is the alkyl so we have discussed about the mechanism so reactivity stability plays basic concept and advantages and disadvantages okay so okay uh, Advantages and disadvantages before going to details. So, this reaction you have observed that uh, it forms this double bond. Fine. So, compared to Wittig, what is the advantage or disadvantage? Generally, when you say advantage or disadvantage, we compare. In case of Wittig reaction, Wittig is Wittig versus Tebe. Wittig is more reactive more reactive, this is less reactive. Point number one. Point number two, that Vitig is more basic. This is less basic. Point number three, that Vitig reagent for sterically, uh, sterically crowded thing, Vitig doesn't uh, act what will for bulky substrate bulky substrate activity is poor but this is efficient enough for bulky substrate efficient enough for bulky substrate bulky substrate Okay, and another thing, the most important character of this, that I have just showed in case of it's a ketone. So, it is active for other groups, like let's take R1 as an alkyl. R1, alkyl, aryl, whatever. And R2 could be hydrogen, means aldehyde, could be 
alkyl means ketone then could be or means ester then could be n r2 means amide or o c o r anhydride so these also can perform and actually these results are enolic type derivatives okay so that thing i shall discuss in the next video with some examples so what we have learned we have learned about the basic concept and mechanism about this stereoalkylation how this reaction could this uh, reaction could be carried out means the mildness as well as selectivity this is the uniqueness of this stevias reagent and ultimately we have discussed about the advantage and disadvantage of this reaction so this is the end of this discussion in next video i shall discuss about some application and examples of this uh, process so thank you everyone for listening uh, if you think this video is helpful for you i request you please share among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally thank you see you in my next video